Hi, my name's Glenn Kirby. I'm the UK and Ireland Technical Manager for Syngenta. And we're here today to talk about the art of application. We're going to look at how we can get the right product at the right time in the right place. We're going to have a little think about the area of the plant you're trying to impact. What are you trying to do when you're applying your product? Where are you trying to hit? Are you trying to hit the leaf, the crown, or are you trying to get that product into the soil? It's really important when you start your spraying setup that you've got a very clear picture in your mind exactly what you're trying to achieve with that product. There is no perfect here, there's a lot of compromises and challenges, but if you can set out with a clear picture in your mind of what you're trying to achieve, you've got a much better chance of hitting it. So if we have a look at this one, which is a greens core, you can see we've got good moisture through here, we've got a very, very tight leaf surface, probably cut around three millimetres. Doesn't need a particularly high water volume to coat that leaf. However, once you start moving up into kind of 400s, you will move it off the leaf and into the crown, and actually 600 litres a hectare will move it down into the soil. Um, it will certainly be washing it off of the leaf. A lower water volume of around 250 will re give you really good leaf coverage here, assuming you've got the right pressure. And that's the kind of thing you want to be thinking there is kind of medallion, a contact fungicide, low water volumes on the leaf. Uh, 400 litres a hectare is your kind of primo or something that's very systemic. So it's going to go down into the crown, get taken up by the leaf. And then something that is soil activating like heritage or you would use Colibra as a wetting agent. You want to be getting that up around 600. Now, if we look at something like um, a fairway core, we've got some slightly different challenges here. We've got a soil profile that is very dry, very crumbly. Um, we've got high levels of fibre and thatch in there, and we've got a bit more leaf. So probably 400 litres a hectare is only just going to kind of get you into the crown here. You want to be slightly higher water volumes, and if you think you're going to move um, the products through this fibre down into the soil by just putting it on at 600 litres a hectare, you probably want to manage your own expectations a little bit. You're going to need to get these soil profiles wet first and you're going to need to wash that through. So applying in a situation like this, applying in wet days where you've got good rainfall following it up, if you're trying to hit the soil would be really important. So we're going to have a look at another one here. This one is a tease core. Now, it's very similar in construction method to the fairways. Um, you can tell that it is fairly typical of golf clubs and it's got it's all sorts of things in the soil here. We've got bricks and flints and bits and pieces. But you've got a reasonably high fibre level in here, but the difference between this and the fairway one is this is really well hydrated. It's been under irrigation for a number of, through most of the summer, it's probably had a good aeration programme on it and a wetting agent programme. So here you've got a much better chance of moving material off the leaf and into this soil profile because the hard work has been done through the summer. But again, with a kind of leaf coverage like this, 250 is probably enough to do a foliar contact application. 400 would move it down to the crown for something that's more systemic and you want to be up on a white nozzle at two and a half bar giving you somewhere around 600 litres a hectare to get down off the crown uh, and lower into the profile so you can wash that in with irrigation afterwards. Hopefully now you've got a pretty clear idea of where you're trying to target when you're applying different products and we're going to have a look now at some different techniques and different nozzles and different pressures and give you some ideas as to how you can target your sprays more effectively.